My dear students, welcome to English Language and Literature for Grade 7. In this uh, video, we're going to talk about Week 5. That extends from March 24th to March 28th. We're going to kick, uh, kick off this week with an explicit. We're going to set goals, prioritize tasks, and manage time effectively to achieve personal and academic success. Our word well is going to include set goals, prioritize tasks, manage time, achieve, personal, academic success, and explicit. You're going to watch a video about setting goals, and you're going to work in groups to choose a topic, to research about, to make a clear plan to follow. Uh, you're going to search about impact of deforestation on wildlife, or water, water pollution and its effect on aquatic life, urbanization and loss of green spaces, climate change and its effects on ecosystem, human impact on coral reefs, um, Pollinator decline and its implications for agriculture, plastic pollution in marine environments, human wildlife conflict, effects of agriculture practices on soil uh, on soil health, or importance of biodiversity conversation conservation. Sorry. The plan must include the following team members: topic chosen, a mind map for what you will include in your research, tasks for each member, clear steps in the format of points to complete your research. You can do this either on Word document or on a poster, it's up to you. Then you're going to watch a video about setting goals, prioritizing tasks, and managing time effectively to achieve personal and academic success. You're going to have an interactive activity, a further practice for the challenging question, how can we effectively balance the needs of human development and economic growth with the imperative to conserve biodiversity and protect ecosystem health for further generations. Self-assessment, uh, for the next lesson, you're going to start writing your research. For lesson two, you're going to formulate research questions related to human interactions with the ecosystem. You're going to draft your research. Our word wall is going to include the word wall, the words that are related to uh, ecosystem, biodiversity, conservation, deforestation, pollution, habitat, sustainability, climate change, water quality, food chain, soil erosion, urbanization. In this video, we're going to watch a video about how to formulate a strong research question, an interactive activity. Then you're going to watch a vi uh, video about how to write a research paper, another interactive activity, a further practice. For the challenging question, I would like you to write the features of an interesting research question, a self-assessment. For what to do tomorrow, I would like you to evaluate the resources that you used. Are they primary or secondary? For lesson three, you will have another explicit, which is analyzing and evaluating information. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to analyze and evaluate information to make well-reasoned judgments and decisions. Our word well is going to include analysis, evaluation, critical thinking, reasoning, judgment, decision-making, logical, rational, evidence, argument, uh, conclusion, and for instance, this is perspective and bias. You're going to watch a video about evaluating a source's reasoning and evidence, an interactive activity. You're going to watch a video about scavenger hunt, and in groups, you're going to search for the following in the library, a book on like ecosystem, a newspaper or a magazine article discussing pollution, a printed map of Jordan, a website containing reliable information on planet Earth, a video tutorial explore, explaining reduce, reuse and recycle, a social media post sharing information about an environmental initiative. Further practice, of course, for the challenging question, how can individuals uh, discern between reliable and unreliable resources of information in an era of abundant, abundant digital content? And what strategies can be employed to ensure that the information they access, they uh, access, is accurate, credible, and unbiased. A self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to evaluate if sources you found are primary and or secondary after watching the video below. Now we're going to go for lessons four and five. You're going to use an organizational structure to produce a cohesive and coherent speech, answering one of the following prompts. Uh, of course, you will have general ecological terms to use in your writing. Uh, you will have a PowerPoint presentation for this lesson. Uh, you're going to watch a video about Earth. Take effective notes. 
Then you're going to have an interactive activity. Uh, you're going to refer to the interactive activity to assess your inf information after watching this video about uh, climate change. Your task is you're going to use an organizational structure to produce a coherent and cohesive speech reflecting on the following prompt. You're going to imagine Earth whispering to you, sharing its stories of vibrant ecosystems, diverse creatures, and breathtaking landscapes. Now picture its worried murmurs about rising temperatures, polluted rivers, and disappearing forests. You're going to write and deliver a powerful speech that amplifies Earth's message. Further practice and a self-assessment, a challenging question, and for what to do tomorrow, you're going to write, in your opinion, can a speech manipulate people into believing something uh, that is not true? Can't wait to start this fruitful week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.